saying hi party hi everyone we're in a slightly different location i'm upstairs in my little let's see it's really it's a spare room which is also makeshifts my little office um i've had to use my ring light though but the only problem with that is get these things in my in my glasses so i might take this halfway oh oh it's just like a hot water bottle lucy's downstairs by the fire so i didn't have the heart to lift her but patty wanted to come and say hi so today i was going to come on and do a bit of a reading tag a booktube tag i don't know if it's a booktube one i was tagged on it on instagram and i really liked the questions so i thought i'd do a quick fire through some of those questions and i want you to give me some of your answers in the comments below too so let's get started hold on i'll show you that's are you gonna let me see look at her oh so yeah that's the that's our spare room stroke my working from home office space so this one is called Dear Reader and I was tagged it in it in on Instagram. So there's a couple of questions and I want to go through them with you. And as I said before, if you have any answers to these questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear them from you. So the first one is, did you complete your 2023 reading challenge? Challenges, I should say. So I did my... 12 books by 12 friends i think i managed about three of them out of the 12 so utterly failed in this one so the 20 so what did i do go into 2024 bigger oh no i'm to help a peep at me bigger and bolder and i've done 24 in 2024 um i've read one so far so that's starting the year off well is it not um did i do any other yeah i wanted to do a few other um i failed at a few buddy reads over committed as per usual so this year um i'm doing my 24 and 2024 and i did meet my goodreads reading challenge goal so my goodreads goal was 200 and i read 206 or 207 but I did feel like in the last quarter of the year, I was getting myself into a bit of a, what's the word, Qu quantity over quality. And so the numbers is like, you know, how when you, I don't know if you all use Goodreads, but if you use Goodreads, it will say you're one book behind schedule or on schedule or two books ahead of schedule. And so I was feeling that pressure. So this year I've taken the pressure off. I've set 100 books. I know that's still a lot of books. Um, some people read as much as that, more than that, less than that, and that's all good. That's all good. Uh, I need a lot of escapism in my brain, and escapism is reading for me. So, a hundred books is easily yeah. likely. If you hear Chewbacca like sounds, it's yeah. Patty rolling about on that bed. She likes to make Chewbacca type gizmo sounds, <laughs> don't you? That's also a waggy tail. So, oh, I've kind of answered the next question, which is, what is your 2024 reading goal? I've just told you, 100 books, and to read 24 books in 2024, cho chosen by some of my friends, and also to up my diversity reading. What books would you like to read this year? I want to read more, it's actually not necessarily books, but more the authors. So CJ Tudor is an author I need, I need to read because I love horror and a few of my fellow horror dark thriller readers are like, you need to read this author. Uh, this other one I got, there's another author. Any Riley Sager, she does have, well, 
I've got the one that came out last year because I bought it as soon as it came out. Still haven't read it. So I went to read that and he does have a new one coming out this year. I think in the summer. Can't remember it, but I'll put it up here because it's on my very excited to read list. Oh my God, why can't I remember the other author? Oh, eh... Uh, CJ Scoots, 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 can't remember, but the Sweet Pea series, uh, pretty much, imagine American Psycho with a female protagonist, that's the series, I've read Sweet Pea and there are another two and the fourth one just came out this month, very excited to read that, so I want to read that series because I only got Sweet Pea and utterly loved it five stars five stars if you've not read it please do read it here's the cover um here's the whole series <laughs> how pretty is it i do have the black covers that were out previously and then they brought out book four like this series which i'm not gonna lie i love it when dark thrillers horror are in bright colors because you know i love bright colors but don't do it like during the series <coughs> Because then I have to go out and buy the rest of the series in the new in the new light cover editions. And I can't afford that, but I did it. Because I'm crazy that way. And the other author is Rachel Harrison. I have two of her books out of the library and I got one on pre-order, Black Sheep came in. So I'm very excited to read that. I want to read Betty by Tiffany McDaniel because On the Savage Side by Tiffany McDaniel was my top read of 2023. If you've not read it, make it your challenge or the book you need to read in 2024. And anything Betty Hendricks writes, anything Stephen Graham Jones writes. <laughs> uh, so there's a few. The next question is, any five star predictions? I think the next books in the Sweet Pea series, for sure. Betty, that I've just mentioned by Tiffany McDaniel. I have no qualms that that'll be a five star. Uh, the, oh, also another one that was said for, but the, the new Christ, uh, Kristen Hanna, the, the woman or women here pretty much see i read the great alone was the first chris and hannah book i ever read and i've read the night nightingale and the four winds i read either last year or the year before they're all five star books so if i read the women and it's not i will be utterly shocked 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 so those are my five star predictions Books you want to read. Oh, I've got so many. Well, apart from all the ones I've already mentioned, I want to read. Um, and actually, I'm going to read it this month. I want to read. All. All Star Chain Gang. Is it Chain Gang All Star? Can't remember how it goes. I'll put the book here, and I'm actually going to read it for um, Lauren and the Books Book Club. So I'm very excited about that. It's basically like a reality TV show set in a prison. It's like sounds proper. Up. So I'm very excited about that. Um, another one I definitely oh, really want to read is the third and final book in the Indian Lake trilogy. Um, so that's the books My Heart is a Chainsaw. Um, Don't Fear the Reaper, and then the third one, can't remember the name of it, the Indian, the Indian Lake, the Angel of Indian Lake, put it here, put it here, so you actually know, um, clearly my terrible memory. So that's the Indian Lake trilogy by Stephen Graham Jones, I am so excited for that, I loved My Heart is a Chainsaw, I loved um, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, uh, it's one, she's one of my, Jade, who's the main character. And this trilogy is just wonderful. So I think for any horror fans, but also anyone that loves nostalgic pop culture horror 
like slasher pop culture there's lots of references to that you would utterly love this series and the other book i really want to read is the deep by nick cutter why but also like i was like oh what's that there <laughs> but it's like it's actually my blend. I thought it was some weird thing on the camera. Clearly I'm not very good at this video stuff. <laughs> I also get super distracted if you notice that. I'm like, squirrel! <laughs> Who is that? Is that that dog from Up? No, I can't remember. But that's exactly what I'm like. Um, so yeah, did I finish what I was wanting to, what I was wanting to read this year? Yeah, The Deep by Nick Carter because I read The Troop by Nick Carter and it's possibly the first and only book today that's literally made me dry bulk gag. It was amazing. <laughs> it was it was horrible bloody gore horror. And so yeah, I'm up, I'm up for reading um, the deep by Nick Carter, which also thankfully is one of my twenty four and twenty twenty four. So helping me get through another challenge. The next one is books you want to reread. Oh. I think I read that question wrong the last time and it was books you want to reread not books you want to read which kind of talks about what books would you like to read this year is the same question. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. Thanks if you're still watching. <laughs> um, books I want to reread. Hmm. Maybe Sweet Pea because it's been a while since I've read book one before I go through the rest of the series. Uh, I want to also, I always read Coraline by Neil Gaiman because it's one of my favourite books. Um, I just love it. I've actually got, I've got a few, it's the cat there, but wait a minute. Um, that tattoo, that quote there is from Coraline and I've got a few others. Anyway, I'm obsessed with that book so I want to read that. I'm also tempted to reread On the Savage Side at some point this year because it was so amazing and I kind of feel like maybe I should read Oh, uh, so definitely reread it. Um, I'm going to reread The Shining because winter scary vibes. I do, do, I do read a Stephen King book a month um, with some friends and this month is The Shining so I'm ready for that so that is definitely a reread and mm, I think those are the only ones maybe Home Going by Yag Yassi because oh, phenomenal it's one of my top reads of one year pre-pandemic <laughs> amazing um and last but not least what's your new year's resolutions or intentions um i did a wee video about that so i'll link that here um which was my 2024 reading goals and channel goals so for 2024 i want to reduce the number of books i'm buying so borrow um more and read more of my tbr um swapsies don't count because if you're swapping books for books so um because i over the last few years i got a little carried away about the number of books i've actually bought and still clearly now I have more books in my house and the bookcases downstairs and in my bedroom of books that i've not read so i want to deal with my tbr and so i can have short and sharp book buying ban to reset myself and get myself back on track with being a bit more of a conscious book buyer so maybe just the odd pre-order that I have done for authors like auto buys where I'm definitely going to read um, rather than just seeing oh my god a book that someone's recommended on booktrip the top books I can buy I shall add to my wish list first and then consider it and see if I can get it from the library blah 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 so do that um take pressure off the number of books I read which I've mentioned earlier and also read m many more books by and about marginalised groups that's my main resolution anyway so that was me doing the dear reader tag 
Uh, I would love you to answer some of these questions below. Um, let me know what uh, your five star predictions are, your reading goals, um, books you definitely want to read this year because if you put them in the comments, I'm checking them out and adding them to my library's list or the reservation list. And shall we ask Patty what books she wants to be reading this year? Let me check. Patty, you're going to tell people. Look, look, look. Um, Patty is a big fan of cosy murder mysteries, aren't you, really? So she's actually looking forward to reading, what one was it? Is it Nita Prose? It's the follow-up to the book The Maid. That's the one she's very excited for. She does love a little bit of a cosy mystery. Um, when was that? What? Oh, and anything else that Bonnie Garmish writes, because she loved lessons in chemistry. So she'll read anything she writes. So um, from me and from Patty, until next time. Oh, if you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. We'd love to see you. Hopefully dropping two videos a week. And we'll speak to you again soon.